Hello and welcome back to another Home Assistant and QNAP video. Thank you guys so much for all the positivity and feedback you gave me on the first video. But I had one major comment that kept popping up. Could you show us virtualization? So today I'm going to be taking a look at Home Assistant and virtualization on your QNAP. So first up, if you followed me along in my first video, we have already set up Home Assistant on a Docker container. Now, as you can see, I have set up quite a bit since then, and I don't want to really want to lose any of my settings. So we're going to create a backup so we can import it into our virtual machine. Again, you don't have to do this, but if you don't want to lose your settings and you want to migrate them over, this is a good way to do it. Otherwise, you can start completely fresh. I'm going to go over to settings, Go over to system, I'm going to go over to backups, and depending on how much you've done, this may take a while for you, but I'm going to hit create backup. And for me, it took like no time at all because I really don't have that much, and we're just going to download that for now. And it's going to save directly to my downloads folder. Now that we have done downloading the backup, I'm actually going to shut down the container because I don't want to have two home assistants running at the same time. I'm just going to head over to my QNAP, head over to Container Station. I'm just going to click on that and I'm going to stop it. Perfect. And now we don't need that anymore. A quick little aside, I know I'm filming this after the fact, but if you don't already know how to download Virtualization Station, head over to your App Center under utilities, just go all the way to the bottom here, you'll see virtualization station. Hit the install button and wait for that to finish installing and downloading, and then you'll be ready to go. All right, now we don't need that anymore. And let's continue on with the rest of the video. And we're just gonna head over to the Home Assistant website, and we're gonna actually download the OVA. So we're gonna head over to getting started, Installation, we're going to scroll down all the way to Alternative, and we're going to want to download the OVA file. And we're just going to click on that, it will download, and it's done. Excellent, I can close this. We're going to head over to the Virtualization Station. Awesome. All right, next we're going to hit on Import, Import VM. We're going to select from this PC, depending on where you stored it. So I stored, like I said, I stored mine in the downloads folder. Open that. I'm going to hit on next. It's going to ask what you want to, to name it. Automation. And next we're going to have to specify where we want this to be placed. Again, I have a VM folder. Again, you don't have to. You can have a different folder to place it in. I like to put things in their own spot. I'm going to start the VM once the import is done. I'm going to start the import. And there it goes. It should take hopefully very little time to do so. Pretty hassle-free. There we go. We can see it. And there we go. It's going to start up. I'm going to click on that. It's going to bring it up. I'm just going to watch it for a bit as it's trying to boot. I'm going to wait. Now we wait for the Home Assistant CLI to be ready, like it says. Excellent. And now it's given us an address for it. So we're actually going to go to that exact address that we see right here. enter and now it's going to tell us that it's preparing home assistant now we'll just wait for this to be ready and it will show us the initialization wizard as you had seen initially if you followed my docker container video now as you can see we are at the 
set up wizard. Now, I don't want to start from scratch because, you know, I put a lot of work into mine. Like I said, we're going to restore from a backup. Once you locate the file and you open it, it'll see the image. And I'm going to hit restore. Yep. So it should restore from that image that we took earlier. It's also handy that if you create monthly or even semi-monthly backups, that way you can restore it to any old version in case something happens. That's also quite handy. So there we go. There was a little bit of an issue, so I had to refresh the page after a while. It didn't actually automatically redirect me to this. So if that is the case that it is running a bit longer, try refreshing the page and you'll get a login screen. And obviously your username and password should be the same as before. So with another snap, I will log in. Boom, and like that, I'm already logged in. So once already logged in, because if you were not updating your Docker container, your version of Home Assistant might be out of date. This version does support automatic updates as well as USB pass-through through to the VM. So if you're using Z-Wave or other maybe USB dongles or devices, you can actually now use those. And well, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. This basically was a basic tutorial on how to set up Home Assistant via virtualization. If you like this video, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Please leave your comments down below. I love reading them. And if there's anything else you'd like to see me do via Home Assistant or via the QNAP, let me also know down in the comments. I'd be happy to entertain some of those ideas and I'm always up for a challenge to try out new things. Anyway guys, thank you again for all the positivity you've been giving, and I can't wait to create another video for all of you guys. Take care and have a great day! So if you like this video but virtualization just isn't quite for you, I've created a link for the other video if you want to set it up as a Docker container. Click on that link down in the description below.